This is a video on how to write a brief summary. So first I just want to give you a summary of summaries. Um, their purpose is always to just give a brief overview and you always want to think about your audience. Your job for your audience is to save them time. So it should be significantly shorter than the article itself. The shorter the article, the shorter your summary should be. And as an author, you want to show that you understood that article when you summarize. So first I need you to pause this video and go quickly read the article, The R Word is No Joke by Maria Schreiber. Hopefully the link below will lead you there and you will be able to um, watch it or read it through that link. <coughs> Excuse me. Otherwise you can just Google the R word is no joke and you should be able to find it that way. Then when you're done, come back here and go to the next slide. Okay. So the first step of doing a summary is sum number one. So you want to think of summary, a summary as an addition problem. So the first step is to summarize each paragraph one by one. So here I have a list of the 13 paragraphs from the article that you just read and what each one is about. So paragraph one is about the R word being the main debate um, of the day. Paragraph two is about how the word retard is as hurtful as the N word. Paragraph three is about the new film Tropic Thunder and how they use the word too much. Paragraph four is about Maria Shriver herself and that she works with the Special Olympics. Paragraph five is about Eddie Barbanel, who says, who is a special Olympian, and he says the R word makes him feel terrible. Loretta Claiborne is also someone with a mental disability, and she asks us to stop using the R word in paragraph six. Paragraph seven, words can be as hurtful as physical wounds, is the comparison there. Paragraph eight is that kids are going to imitate that movie. And then paragraph nine is about how the intellectually disabled can't speak for themselves. Then in paragraph 10, basically the point there is just that the R word is not acceptable. And then paragraph 11 brings back Tropic Thunder again and about how there is a PSA on their DVD now. And then paragraph 12 is about how parents need to teach their kids about this issue. And paragraph 13 is a call to action. We need to be the ones to make a change. So that's the first step, summarizing each paragraph in a very short, brief little statement. Then the next step is to sum up those ideas and find the connections. So if you look at that list, you would notice that paragraphs two, five, seven, and 10 could be added together because they're on the same topic. And that topic is that the R word is unacceptable and just as hurtful as to the intellectually disabled as is using the R word. So it's just about how they're all unacceptable and it's pretty much the same topic. Then you would notice that three, eight, and 11 are also all on the same topic because they all bring up Tropic Thunder. So you could make the statement, the film Tropic Thunder, despite its PSA will cause kids to thoughtlessly use the word. Then four, six, and nine also are on the same topic. So Shriver and some people with mental disabilities speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. And that's what those paragraphs are about. And then idea number four is 12 and 13. And those two paragraphs tell us that it's up to parents to educate their kids and to us to make a change. So we have one, two, three, four main points once we add all of Shriver's points together and find those connections in those um, paragraphs, we end up with four main points that Shriver has by doing some adding. Then you need to do one last addition, and that is adding all of those ideas together to come up with a sort of one sentence statement that summarizes the entire article in one sentence. And so here we have Maria Shriver's article the R word is no joke, argues for people to stop using the word retard or retarded as a slur because it is degrading and hurtful to those who have a mental disability. This serves as the first sentence of your summary paragraph. Then you add on the other four ideas that we came up with previously. 
So you start with a, f a sentence that sums up everything all together, and then you add sentences that give the details from the summary that you did before. And this is what we end up with. Now I want to point out a few things about this particular summary that is important in all summaries. One is that the first sentence should always give us the author and the title right off the bat. Anytime you are summarizing something, the first thing to do is let your reader know what's being summarized and who wrote it. Okay. The second thing to, no to notice is that each sentence of your summary needs to have what is called attribution. Okay. And attribution is when you make it clear that you are not writing this. This is not your idea, but it is the ideas of the author. It needs to be in every sentence. Shriver cites, she reminds readers, she ends with. This kind of attribution or telling the reader where the ideas came from means that you will not plagiarize. And it's very important to um, have that kind of language in there. It also helps with clarity because when you're talking about articles and you're commenting on the articles, the reader knows what is your idea and what is the idea of the authors by this kind of attribution. Then you don't have to have a citation after every sentence as long as it's clear who she is. The other thing to notice is that there are no quotes in this particular summary. Okay, you, it, As a general rule, you want to avoid quotes. Quotes are specific and summaries are meant to be very general. So you don't need any specific details at all. You only want general ideas. And the exception, however, is when you need to use quotation marks because you are using a word or words that are very specific to the author and they should have quotation marks around them. So, summary rules. The first sentence should have the author's name, the title, and the main summary. You should not have any quotes in your summary. Exception are the key words of the author's main points. And every single sentence should have attribution as you sum things up. And that is all.